Welcome to Explore NFC, an extension board to enable near-field communication on the Raspberry Pi. To get started, you will need the following parts. A keyboard, a mouse and a USB hub. An HDMI cable for connecting the Raspberry Pi with the monitor. A Raspberry Pi. A power cable for the Raspberry Pi. The Explore NFC board. A USB stick and an SD card for the operating system of the Raspberry Pi. The first step is to download the program Win32 Disk Image, which writes the image to the SD card, and to download the system image for the Raspberry Pi. Both downloads can be found on the download page of the Raspberry Pi website. Put the SD card into a card reader and start Win32 Disk Imager. Choose the Raspbian Wheezy image, choose the device that represents the SD card and click Write. When the warning about writing to a physical device appears, double check that the correct device has been selected and proceed by clicking Yes. Now connect the USB stick to the computer that will be used for transferring the applications to the Raspberry Pi. All example applications can be found either on the NXP website or on the Element 14 website. Save all downloads to the USB stick. For the next steps, Unplug all peripherals from the computer that will be used with the Raspberry Pi. Now take the Raspberry Pi and connect all the peripherals you will need. The SD card, the Explore NFC board, the network cable for the internet connection, the HDMI cable, and the USB hub where the keyboard, mouse, and USB stick are connected. Finally, connect the power connector and start the Raspberry Pi. On first startup, the configuration menu appears. You will need to change two settings. First, you need to resize the file system to make optimal use of the available space on the SD card. Second, you need to enable the SPI kernel module. After changing these settings, reboot the Raspberry Pi. Once the reboot has completed, log in. The username is Pi. The password is Raspberry all lowercase letters. Type start x into the command prompt to start the graphic desktop environment. Before you can start the sample projects, you will need to install one additional package called CMake. Open the terminal to install the package. Make sure that the USB stick with the example applications is connected to the Raspberry Pi and open the file manager. Copy the files to the home directory and extract them. Switch back to the terminal and change into the build directory of the sample project.
first configure the project using the command cmake. Then compile it using the command make. After the project is compiled, it can be executed with the command dot slash card underline polling. The example application shown here detects the type of the card presented to the Explore NFC board and prints it to the screen.